Greetings, welcome to Chem 309. My name is Dr. Bennett, and this is the first in a series of video lectures that will help you be successful in Chem 309. The purpose of this video is to go over our online resources. Now, it's important to understand that Chem 309 is an in-person course, um, but with the help of the Sac City Media Resources and IT Department and UC Davis professor um, Delmar Larson, I've created a suite of online resources to help you be successful in the class. So now I'm gonna switch over to a PowerPoint that will do an overview, and then we'll actually go onto the internet and I'll show you how to access and use these resources. So we'll go there, perfect. Okay, now there's really four primary online resources. Canvas, and that's the e-learning link from our Sac City website, is probably, um, it's, it's not the primary resource, but it has a useful role that we'll talk about, um, primarily just if, if you lose a handout or you wanna check a supplemental answer, um, supplemental homework answer key. Um, the Libre text, now that's our, our central resource, that's our primary resource for this course. Um, I'll show you how the agenda works. Um, so that's our second online resource. The third online resource is our video lectures, and those um, have both lecture outlines and the lectures, and you can get to those through the agenda on LibreText. Now, um, our LibreText is a free online text that you're welcome to use. If you would like to buy a traditional textbook, you still have that option. And even if you buy a book, you can still use our LibreText. And then the fourth element of our online suite will be the basic knowledge practice quizzes. And I'll show you why those are helpful as we go along. All right, so a little more details, right? Now, Canvas is a repository for the materials, right? Because it's an in-person class. So you can get the copy if you miss a general handout. I'll give you the links to the online resources. Um, if you lose a supplemental homework, you can get a blank copy. And then I'll provide um, selected answer keys. Um, there's two things that are not on Canvas. One are going to be our in-class homework packets, and that'll be the heart of what we do in class. I only share those as hard copies. The other thing that you will not find anywhere else is the take-home quizzes. To get a take-home quiz, if you miss class, you're going to need to email me at least 24 hours before the take-home quiz is due. All right. Now, our Libre text is going to have chapters just like a traditional text, but what makes it better than a traditional text, besides being free, is there are interactive um, animations to help with some of the more complex topics, and there's also some instructive animations, which are really helpful when we get to biochemistry, and we're looking at those very dynamic biochemical pathways. Um, oh, I have a typo. Um, there is homework. And there's that's supposed to be solutions, so apologize for the typo. Um, that's where our chapter homework will come from. And then there's those agendas, which I will, I will demonstrate for you. Now, those basic knowledge quizzes, um, what I've learned in working with students over the years is that it's essential that we memorize and internalize the basic knowledge. So if we look at this chart right here, this is the average score for students at the end of the semester, how well they memorize their basic knowledge. And I know that from their basic knowledge quizzes. And then if we look along the y-axis, we see the overall grade. So we can see that there's a direct correlation. The more we have memorized and internalized our basic course knowledge, the easier it is to apply to the course concepts that are more difficult. All right, so now let's go through everything. Um, Get rid of this here, and we will go to the internet. And so let's make this big so we can see. Oops, that didn't work. We'll go here. Okay, so here is our Libre text. Now, um, here are the chapters like we would find in any other textbook. Um, I want you to know that I really don't expect you to read the chapters in the book. What I expect you to do is watch the video lectures and actively take notes. Um, but the book is very good. About a, a dozen um, professors across the country have adopted it. Um, so you can always come here as a resource when you um, look, are looking for a different explanation. Now, um, when it's time to do your textbook homework, that'll be right here. And you just click here. And then you'll find the homework. And it's by chapter. And then you can just click on it. 
and it's up to you how you turn it in. Most students like to print it out and then they just write their answers right on the sheet, but that's up to you. And then if you're not sure about an answer, of course you can always come see me, but if I'm not around or it's not a good time, we have the solutions right here. Now, I understand that there's really no check and balance here. It is possible to just come on here and click the answers and write them on a piece of paper and turn them in. And you will get credit for your homework. Um, but students don't pass the class. So that's why I don't worry too much about it. it it's a self-correcting process. What's most exciting about our Libre text is right here under the agenda. So whether you're in Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, I'm just going to randomly pick one. This has everything for the entire semester. Now, right now, we're in the process of filming this video. So eventually, this will be an active link along with the others. So here will be our, so if you want to rewatch something. Now here, we're going to have three exams this semester. So phase one, our first exam will cover general chemistry. Our second exam will cover organic chemistry, all building up to the thing that's most interesting, biochemistry. And then, of course, we'll have a final, a cumulative final at the end of the semester. So let's see how this all comes together. All right, so for our second class meeting, everyone in class is going to need to have watched these videos. So you can see this measurement 3B, that will be a new video I will add before the semester starts. Now to watch these videos, the first thing we need is the video lecture outlines. So we have two choices. We can go in and print them, if we would like to do that, or um, you can, we can go to the bookstore, and I'll show you. Um, this is our video lecture outline, so you have a choice. You can just buy this at the bookstore and then not have to worry about it. You have all your video lecture outlines, or we'll go back to the, the computer screen, or you can print them as we go, all right? And then what happens is then we want to go. Now you have a choice here. To watch the videos, I've created a YouTube playlist that'll have all of the videos that we need to watch for a given class section, and they'll just play one after another. Or we can go to the Sac City website, and they're here. And as we play them, I'll show you that the, the Sac City website, there is a closed caption option, right? And so this can be very helpful. Now, the YouTube videos, I cannot guarantee the closed captioning. I'm going to move forward a little bit and pause it. So see, those, see, you can see here that lecture outline I showed you. I'll have the same copies of the lecture materials that you do, and I'll explain the concepts, and you'll just fill them in like I do, and that will be our lecture. And so all of this happens before we come to class, because taking notes is really the simplest thing we're going to do. What we're going to spend our time in class doing is taking these concepts that you've taken notes on and practice applying them to um, questions and word problems and that sort of thing. So here are the lecture outlines and our video lectures. Now, the last component are the basic knowledge practice quizzes, and I'll show you those. Right, oh, there's right. So you can get to them right here. There's the link, and I put it here as well. So we'll just We'll just go there, see what happens. Perfect. Okay, now to use these basic knowledge quizzes, the first thing we have to do is register. And so the directions are right here to remind you. Okay, so the first time in we have to register. So for the username, if you're in a Monday, Wednesday class, you're going to start by putting Monday, Wednesday. If you're in a Tuesday, Thursday class, you're going to put the college abbreviation for Tuesday, Thursday. And then we're going to put our last name. And then we're going to put our first name. So to get credit for doing the basic knowledge quizzes, you must um, register this way. And then you're going to put in your email address, um, right? Let's see, video demo at gmail.com. And then you need to give yourself a password. OK. And now we are registered. OK. All right, now this will seem a little crazy. Um, if you say you want to start a course, okay? And now we go in and we'll go with the exam one first. Here's our practice quizzes. 
And this is the part that sometimes hang people up. Even though we told it we want to start a course and we clicked it, we have to go down here and say, I really meant it. I really wanted to start the course. All right. Once you've clicked that, now, um, like metric shifts, um, ions. Ions are a big deal. We've got to get our ions memorized. Now, remember, these are quizzes. So you're not going to take a quiz until you've studied. Right? So now we're going to view the lesson quiz. And I think it's, there we go. OK, it's doing its thing. Um, well, there we go. OK, so then you just click. And I'm just going to randomly click things just to get us through here. So our basic knowledge quizzes, when we have those in class, there will be 15 questions. You'll have about five minutes to answer because this is information that we need to have memorized and internalized, right? At the snap of a finger. Okay? So we go in and we click what we think the answers are. And let's see, we'll just do this real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we ask, now even though you've answered them all, it doesn't know. It gives you a chance to change your mind. So you go, okay, I'm done. And now it's grading it. It's taking a little time. Um, there we go. OK, so I only got 20%. So the good part is it tells you what the right answers are. So one of my recommendations would be do one or two practice quizzes at the beginning of the day. Any questions you miss, grab your flashcards or write them down. And by the end of the day, have that basic knowledge memorized. All right? So then let's say that you've been working and you know you can do a better job. We can reset the quiz, and it will, both, it will scramble both the questions and the answers, and it'll give you a chance to see how well you've improved. You can reset as many times as you like. Your most recent score is the one that will go towards your grade. All right? So that's a brief overview of the online resources. Um, I wanted to mention one last thing. Um, some of the early videos, the audio is a little soft. Students have told me earbuds make a big difference. And of course, our Sac City version of the videos have closed captioning. So um, you might be wondering why there are there so many materials for this course. Well, the latest um, neural research shows that to build dendritic connections in our brains, we typically need 80 repetitions. So we're going to be working hard this semester. But the cool thing is, once we've created those dendritic connections in our head, We'll use them for chemistry now, but we can use them for anything else in our life afterwards. The dendritic connections that we're going to build in our brain, those are a lovely parting gift from Chem 309. So um, yeah, I look forward to working with you this semester, and we'll wrap this one up.